Okay, so Ottoman's against Alasids. This is a matchup that most people as Ottoman play uh, on one PC. I think it's a valid approach, but I also think you can go uh, multiple TCs as Ottoman in this matchup, and it's completely fine. <coughs> Um, I think it's more a matter of, of taste of what suits you better. I don't think there's a clear better strategy here. Maybe you can adapt depending on the map. This map feels like a bit too, too open. Like, I, I just, I'm afraid that if I go for that style with a lot of archers, my opponent can simply um, Abuse the horseman mobility and uh, get a lot of uh, reinforcements and so on and so forth, and it can become really hard to push. So we will see. I think this is a decision that most likely you have to take, uh, depending on how the the base of your opponent spawns. In particular, I would say the deer, the deer placements. Like if both deer packs are forward, then I think you should go for for very heavy feudal aggression. But if not, it's debatable. Then again, against Stabasit, I don't think you can go fast castle. I don't think that's a good idea. Uh... Simply because uh, they, they uh, will outboom you too much. And, and they still can deal with men at arms, uh, even if they still in feudal age because they have camel archers. So in general, rushing castle age against Stabasit is not a good idea. So it's either second TC or, or feudal aggression from me. Not too sure yet what I will what, what's going to be. Let's see what I scored later on. Like the opening is still the same, right? Regardless of what I go for later. So I don't need to immediately decide my strategy now. Uh, definitely need more ship. Let's hope I find at least six uh, in this part of the map. I would expect uh, 6 would be fine already, but less than that is a really rough start already. Also, uh, ideally I scout his base already so I can pressure with the spearmen, but since my ship count is so low and I have the rate that there has to be more ship there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna delay that a bit. Uh, uh, this is what I thought. Or maybe even one or two more, maybe. Just keep in mind that around your I think your half of the map you usually have around 11, so if you don't find them in one side, they're probably in the other. Right? I think I can stay. Uh, so. Okay, so now I can deliver this and I can actually scout with my scout. But they're really important to. Keep track of your ship count. Uh, you don't want to, to forget uh, all those seven and suddenly his scout runs there for whatever reason and you lose them. That's really bad. So I'm gonna be really careful with this experiment since I have no vision and it's really easy to just uh, walk into a TC. I think Ottoman players know this feeling, right? That your, your initial experiment just dies to the TC and it's not a, a great feeling, of course. Uh, so yeah, let's be really careful here. These are his bolt stones, uh, that's good to know. Berries are here and the gold is right in the back. Uh -huh. So yeah, a bit late there, but it's not the end of the world. Looks like he's going to ignore the spearman, so I'm just gonna attack more. Uh, he has to be really careful here. Oh, well, that, that's a huge mistake. <laughs> yeah, this is a really rough start uh, for my opponent now. Oh, I really have to be really careful with okay. So let's move to his stone. Uh, he's going for a stable. A uh, military wing, right? So let's get out of here then. Uh, 
Uh, let's get this one first, actually. Uh, I mean, he went for military wings, so he has two archers. I have to be really careful here. So I cannot really prevent this uh, stone gathering. Uh, okay, so he went for the aggression. Uh, that's that's really lucky that I didn't lose that one. I should have assumed that this was going to be his play when I didn't see him uh, attacking my my spearman. Right? I saw the military wing and I, and I saw he wasn't there, so it, it's pretty obvious where, what he was about to do, right? Anyways, I like how the game is going for me so far. I managed to get a couple... Uh, a villager kill. My both military schools are up in a rather uh, good timing. Every time he runs in, in range of my TC, I need to be really fast about it. And just get the value. What I think I'm going for the healers here. Where are my healers? That's a big mistake. Uh, he lost a bit too much there, I believe. I just really wish I didn't lose uh, to a spearman. Because they will be really, really useful later on for for the horsemen. Like just having three of them makes a huge difference. But it's not too bad. Uh, let's switch to Sipai you now. I think. Let's get some archer ranges. I put this on archers because um, against a military wing by Abbasid, where he uh, spawns uh, two spearmen and two archers, the best counter is your own archers, right? But now let's get them into. Where they are supposed to be, right? Sipais. Uh, in hindsight, I don't like my positioning here. I feel like my production is a bit too in the back. At first, it's good uh, for the to prevent the the arras, but then later on, it feels like your reinforcements are too slow. If you want to play aggressive, which is what I want to play. So yeah, I'm not too happy with that decision. But it's not terrible either. I think I want to get one. One method from here. And then I'm not in a hurry to attack even if though he's probably on 2TC. I have the... I, you can count each military school as a third of a TC, or something like that. That's a bit bad, I couldn't get that one earlier. And now I can leave three here. Three is the... Is the is the oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, if he turns if he attacks me there I'm I'm getting clean so let, let's back yeah huge mistake by me there I need to go first with the cavalry and the scout check his army and then and then I can think about being aggressive I, I don't I'm not too sure that he's on 2TC to be honest this feels like too much too much army to be on 2TC so let's let's play a bit more defensive here let's try to wall a bit. Prevent his horsemen from dealing any kind of damage. And then I can think about moving out later, right? I'm, I'm not in a rush here, again. He didn't go for economy wing, so... His TCs are, are not as fast. And I don't think there's a threat of him going triple TC anytime soon, right? So I don't need to do anything right now. I can just uh, play passive. Protect my villagers. Get the archer ball going and so on and so forth. Wait for the meta to, to finish. All these things. Oh, maybe this is a bit too much gold now. I don't think I need this much. Like, in this matchup, it's really easy to get um, 
worried for the reason that you are doing nothing while the other city is booming, but you are really not in, in a hurry. Like, your military schools are really good. So it's better to first get the proper setup. As in being safe at base. And not constantly rallying archers that are going to be picked by the horsemen. If your opponent has invested this much in army so fast, you are definitely not in a hurry. So I'm expecting one TC from my opponent. That's enough stone for one, not for two. He really wants for uh, me to play aggressive here. He's just building tons of horsemen to try to get value by by picking reinforcement, picking villagers. So the play here is just to be patient. I, I'm not in a hurry again. I'm just gonna be getting my upgrades, getting the proper setup. My, my foot income is really safe right now. I still have a ship here. I have the, these berries which are amazing. He doesn't have a blacksmith upgrades yet. And he's the one who he really wants to be aggressive. I mean, I can take a fight here. Uh, I should try to force a fight now if I can against uh, that portion of his army. Uh, let's go for that. I'm safe here, right? So it's not like this is doing much. Like it's annoying, but that, that's about it. And if I can get a clean up on that uh, part of his army, then he shouldn't be able to to survive my my full attack. Let's try to not make a, a holder. Let's just see if I can catch that army. I'm, uh, I think he went back. Uh, I don't think he's, he's ever crossed to the other side. Right? I, I don't think he had time for that. I think I would have seen it. So let's look for a collapse around here. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm, I'm, he's actually out. No, he's not. Yeah, this is what I thought. Okay, so now I think I can get the... The clean up in that portion of his army, right? Uh, I'm a bit worried about the fact that he has no blacksmith upgrades because uh, the way he's buying time makes me believe he's working in some kind of, of castellates. Pick a couple of villagers here, but <gasps> that's really bad. Losing the losing this one like that—that's a huge mistake. Uh, I mean, this was still obviously really good for me, but there was no no need for that to happen. I'm gonna secure this uh, this food location now that he that he's lost as much as he has. Like uh, he's lost pretty much every single fortune, right? So I can be a bit greedy about this and just uh, build the mill there, get this upgrade of course. Yeah, I have this one now, and I'm going to ramp push. I'm not sure where the TC is yet, but I will, I will soon know. I'm just a bit scared here about a potential fast castle by him. I'm not completely sure that that was his, uh, his plan, but I think there's a chance it is. Let's get textiles as well. Uh, in fact, I should have already have it. Uh, nah, this doesn't look like Castle Age. But then again, he doesn't have it. Uh, up. Hey! Mm, I don't know what to think. I, I think I just went for it. I think I just, I'm just diving here. I think he's lost way too much. So. Yeah, see, this is what I was so scared about. I'm not sure if I'm in time here. Uh, he's going to start producing mana times, right? But, but maybe I'm barely hitting uh, my timing here. The fact that he wasn't not getting blacksmith upgrades was really, was really strange. It, like he had to do something with gold or either mass units, but he didn't have that many units, right? So I think the read that he was in Castle H was not that difficult to make. So yeah, definitely need to kill as much as I can because this is two TC. This is two TC castle age. Right? Against one TC field. So definitely gotta gotta get some damage going. What easier do I even go for here? Please. Oh no, I shouldn't allow that to happen ever.
I definitely need more, more gold. And let's stop making units now, I think. Ah, oh, there are the villagers. Run, run, run. And here as well. So as soon as I age up, of course, I need to go into either knights or crossbows. Or both. Maybe both. And I, these archers won't be valuable. Like, the only use I have for these archers is to kill villagers, so... May as well... Uh, Lose them in, in, in that, that mission. Uh, let's get a couple towers here now, just because he has knights and mana tiles. So There's, it's not unlikely that he will try to, to raid here, right? Oh, that's a huge wall, I, I guess. And again, I don't care about the archers, so. Let's get these as well. Um, so let's get knights, I think. Maybe this can go on crossbows. I lost my healers, which is not ideal, but... Uh, there were villagers here, probably. I'm not too sure which, which direction they ran towards. So. Looks like to the right. Yeah, these archers, I mean, <coughs> I don't care too much about them. Ah, here they are. So, I, right now I just want to kill villagers with my feudal age units as I transition into a better army. Yeah, really important to make these reads, to keep checking his, his upgrades and just to try to figure out what his plan is. Right? You can make a lot of read based on things that are not maybe as obvious for most people. Like for instance, this read that he was going Castle Age based on his playstyle, how he wanted to um, keep me in my corner of the map with these two small armies and the fact that he didn't have a blacksmith upgrades, plus the fact that his army wasn't as big as, I, as it should be in this timing. Like by seeing these things, you can pretty much narrow narrow what he's what he's up to, right? To, to some kind of Castle Age I play. And, th and when you have that read, it's really important that you hit your timing here as Ottomans. Like if I don't dive when I did, when I dive here and I waited 45 more seconds, I think the game is over for me. I think I'm lost. Uh, he has his Castle Ace upgrades then. He has maybe even a Vangonel and he's on 2TC, right? 2TC Abbasid against 1TC. 1TC Ottoman in Feudal against 2TC Castle Ace Abbasid. So you're really important to... In RTS games in general, right? But to hit your timings and to understand your position in in the game. Like the build graph was getting really bad for me. Plus castellates. So yeah, definitely needed to hit that timing or or the game was over.